Working. As always, beginning with you singing. Whatever song is in my brain. <sighs> That's a cool pen. Where'd you get that pen? What? Somebody gave it to me at work. Cool. Can it's I a see ruler it? and it's a level Can and I it's see a it? stylus. Can I see it? Here you go. Do you do you, do you want to start? I was gonna start. Go ahead. I'm gonna look at this pen while you start. Okay. <laughs> wow. It's so versatile. Welcome to episode nine of Odd Speed, a podcast where two brothers talk about any and all subjects, no matter how mundane or absurd. My name is Tyler. My name is Logan, and this is not a level because there's no bubble in it. There's no bubble? Give me it. No, there's no bubble. There should be a bubble. There's no bubble. That's the only reason that that thing would be there. So watch that. You did what? I opened it, so you're going to write on yourself, because I just wrote on myself. (laughs) All of them. I did not write on myself. What happened? I feel like it dried up. Now it's less versatile, but still versatile. Uh. Huh. Y'all gotta check this pen out. It's kind of dope. It's a cool pen. We'll post a pic. Oh, sure. I kind of want to, dead ass. It measures in inches and centimeters. No way. But don't have anything that's longer than three inches, because you can't well, measure it. You wouldn't need that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think I'm going to get right into new scoofing today. Yeah, let's hear it. Today, we will combining... Tyler, that was a dick joke. You got that, right? I got it. I just didn't want to laugh at (laughs) it. Very (laughs) cool. Today's news goofing combines two of our uh, recent favorite subjects, uh, moron criminals and superstition. So according to Arango police in Namibia, who? Arango police. Okay. I don't know what that is. Do you know what Namibia is? Sort of. It's an African country? I could have guessed. Okay. Because the only countries that I have never heard of are all in Africa, so. You might not have heard of it because the only time uh, it's ever been talked about in the past four years is, is when Donald Trump talked about it on TV and he called it Nambia, I think. <laughs> you know what's funny is Nambia sounds more familiar to me <laughs> than Namibia. It's probably be, that's Namibia? Probably, Trump probably feels the same way. Wait Namibia. 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 I wonder if it's actually pronounced Nambia. (laughs) That would be embarrassing. But it's it's spelled (laughs) Namibia. Whatever. This isn't even... (laughs) You go ahead. The police (laughs) reported that there's been a recent trend of criminals carrying witchcraft dolls in an attempt to avoid getting caught. I can't speak. That was a terrible sentence. Criminals are carrying witchcraft dolls to avoid getting caught. Cool. Does it work? Uh, clearly not, because they found out about it. Oh, true. <laughs> Fine. Some witch doctor has been apparently gassing up these idiots and telling them that the dolls that they, that he's giving them is going to bring them good luck and help them avoid getting arrested. Okay. The most recent people to get caught with these dolls were a couple of guys that stole 35 sheep from a farm. Why? Uh, so they could slaughter them and sell the meat. So he's like slaughtered most of them Dang. and brought them to their neighborhood in Harambee. Fun fact, it's Yeah. No way. It's pronounced Nvidia. Like Shut you pronounce the, the letter up. N. Nvidia. <laughs> Nvidia? This is, a, this is a country. You can't Let make activity at... jokes. Wait a second. Show me what you're looking at. I'm looking at everything. Nvidia? There's no way it's pronounced like that. Or Nvidia. Oh, no. Here we go. NVIDIA. NVIDIA? What? No way. Say it again. NVIDIA. It's not Namibia? Wait, maybe it's a different place. NVIDIA. What the fuck are you looking at? (laughs) It's not (laughs) NVIDIA. That looks like a fucking... That's a brand name, How do you spell the country? Namibia. (laughs) N-A-M-I-B-I-A. We're going to go to NVIDIA... (laughs) Africa. No way. What is wrong with you? Namibia! I was right! It's the same thing! What? Namibia. It said Namibia. Wait. You're fucking stupid. (laughs) Wait. How did you make this this (laughs) stupid? You made it stupider than the criminals with the witchcraft dolls. Listen, listen. I actually have a spelling witchcraft doll in my back pocket right now. 
So I spell. So it's helping perfectly. you. It's helping you pronounce things wrong. Yes. No, you, I, you right. did not spell it correctly. You spelled it Stop. in video. <laughs> Stop. It's not true. <laughs> you have no proof. <laughs> Stop. It's not true. I have. I have this. I have the last five minutes. Nvidia. No. <laughs> what is Nvidia? That sounds like a That's fucking a media question. company. What is Nvidia? Nvidia. <laughs> Stupid. Nvidia, inventor of the GPU, which creates interactive graphics on laptops, workstations, mobile devices, <laughs> notebooks, PCs, and more. So it's in Africa. <laughs> what? Oh, its stock price is doing really well. It's at two hundred and one dollars. Namibia. Namibia's N- stock price. Nvidia. You're mixing them. No, NVIDIA is a South African country. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm confused. <laughs> it's in my hand. I'm looking at it. NVIDIA, you're fucking with me. NVIDIA is the play. No, NVIDIA is the company. <laughs> <laughs> Namibia is the country. Yes, very good, Logan. That was a, you, you passed the test. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wow, anyway, tell me more about your news goof. I'm sorry to I mean, steer you off the rails That was there. way funnier. <laughs> <laughs> the cops went on to recommend that farmers keep close track of their employees and livestock, which is a very good advice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if I were the witch doctor, I would make money selling the dolls to the criminals, but also put tracking devices and sell the information to the... What are you saying? I told the witch doctor. bum Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang. NVIDIA, <laughs> Namibia. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Put some tracking devices in... Put the, some tracking devices in those dolls. The sheep neck. And then the cops could find them. Wait, put them in the necks or in the sheep? Wait. <laughs> what? I think I'm having a stroke. Are you having a stroke? <laughs> to put them in the dolls or in the sheep? In the dolls. Why can't you just... Why put- would the witchcraft put... Why would the witch doctor... <laughs> Put tracking devices in the sheep. I think I'm leeching. They didn't steal the witch doctor's sheep. Your life source is mine. You're the intelligence vampire. But why wouldn't you just put trackers in your sheep if you can afford to put trackers in the dolls? It's not the farmer that's putting the trackers in the dolls. The witch doctor is putting trackers. That seems like he's using the money from the dolls. Attention, any farmers that are listening to this. I think it's a good idea if you live in or around somewhere called Nvidia or Namibia. There is no difference. (laughs) It's Nvidia. Okay. I'm going to (laughs) croak. If you live near one of those places, (laughs) maybe have trackers in all of your sheep necks so that when they get stolen by witch doctors, you you can can blow them them up like in the Suicide Squad. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Wow. I think we should try the... um at the end, the pop culture corner where we where we do it in under a minute. I think that's a great idea. We'll explain that later. Yeah. Su- Suicide Squad made me think of that. I assume you're going to talk about Suicide Squad. I'm not. Oh. I figured you were going to, so I have other things to talk I was going to talk about um, Bo Burnham Inside. Oh. I just I have know. other movies I saw that were better than Suicide Squad recently. I understand. So. I feel like Suicide Squad is the, is the pop culture of the month, though. Wow. Well... That's okay. Don't want to kill the steam now. What have you been up to, Logan? Wow. So actually, I'm really proud of myself because recently... Good for you. You know, for... Actually, I'm not proud of myself. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> okay. I spent $1,500 in the last, like, two weeks. <sighs> because, let me tell you Good why. Good job. Some of it, I had to, like, it was just going to happen. So my, let's see, my insurance was, like, $140, which, fine. I had to pay my phone bill, which was, like, 120 or whatever. Here's where it gets a little hairy. All right. <laughs> I bought clothes, which a lot of it, to be fair, was on my list. Like I had, I bought shorts. I bought, um, I bought that Pokemon crew neck, which was definitely an impulse buy. I bought a jacket, <laughs> things like that. I bought some fun pants I've been wanting. Fun pants. I spent $184 at Old Navy. Okay. So that was fine. Here's where it gets really hairy. I kind of decided to buy a Nintendo Switch. Welcome very to the club. Very quickly. You, very you. quickly. I, yeah, there was like, there was no talk of you doing it for there were more like, than a day there was like, before well, you did it. I was it. like, you know what, maybe I'll get a Switch. And then the next day I went out and I bought a Switch. So everyone, I bought, th- the Switch was $300. Plus I bought the case and I bought a bunch of games and I bought a Pro Controller. That came out to $600. So I don't even know where we're at right now. We'll call that $1,000. Okay. I made a car payment, which was over $400. And then I also bought a bunch of movies in East Lansing because I went to Barnes and Noble and 
FYE. Wow. Sorry, I just said dinner. Why well, you got to burp into the microphone? <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. You paused and then burped into the microphone. <laughs> um, and then I spent $120 on movies. And when I say movies, everyone, I just mean DVDs. What year do you think? Do you think this is fucking like 1995 where you can just buy a bunch of DVDs and I'm not going to say listen, you're a fucking... Listen, there's just something. It's the same shit. reason I buy records. There's something about just like holding a piece of media in your hand that you adore that is just like... That's my that's my drugs. Mm. I don't spend money on like crack. <laughs> you know, I just spend it on records and shit. But other than that, what I what I started with, I'm very proud of myself because I've been keeping track of just like the dumb thoughts that I have because I oh, think no. that they're good fuel for odd speed. Give me you a number. You just have a list of thoughts. Yes, it's a big list too. Give me a list between 1 and We'll say nine. I want to hear nine. <laughs> so the actual note says the future of our pinkies phone's going to kill. Look at the <laughs> way I'm holding my phone right now. It's balancing on my pinky <laughs> and resting against my top three fingers. Let me think check of, how I hold my phone. Think about this. 10, 20, 30 years from now. Because phones and phone cases are getting heavier and bigger. Yeah. Our pinkies are going to look like this. Well, and first of all, I don't hold my phone on my pinky. Okay. you. Yeah, I you just, literally just were doing it. I was it. doing it to give you oh, an example. Oh, fuck you. I just hold it. But see, what if it falls? What do you mean? What if you're holding it? No, but... Why would it fall? No, but what if you're using your... Use, use something on your phone? What do you mean? What? Here, you don't use your pinky? Let me catch a Pokemon real quick. What? Okay, oh, I got to load it. Like, I don't know. Here, I'll hold it like, like, what are you doing with your phone? How you in the world like is this? that balancing like that? What Maybe do you mean? I think it's because you have a sticky, your, your phone case is clear. I have so it's gecko hands. Sticky. Yeah, you're a gecko. I'm going to catch Mine this Mine is, is like matte, so it slips. Who the so, fuck is Matt? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Matt now. <laughs> what I'm saying is, and I think a lot of our listeners might relate. Think about, and what I did, everybody, is I just took, take your hand, put it up, and just like pull your pinky away. A little bit by like half an inch. I think that's what our hands are going to look like in the future. Yeah, that and our eyes are going to fall out. Well, I wear blue light glasses, so uh, y'all can same. fuck off. <laughs> but I'm just saying, because I noticed the other day that my pinky literally started to hurt. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? I'm 21 and my pinky hurts. And then I looked and I was holding my phone like this. <laughs> and I was like, Jesus, it doing? was probably doing it for Let me hold five your phone. hours. Give me your phone. You can't look at those. You're a f you're a psycho. Just fucking hold your phone normal. Why do you have to use well, your pinky you, as a phone what stand? What if you okay? Try to hold Just, it up by your face. What if you're like laying in bed? No, no, no like laying in bed, like you're looking at it, and then use you your mean? and then use your thumb to do things. Oh, are you? What are you doing on the bottom there? What are you what doing? Do you mean? Why I'm are you gripping it so tightly? I'm holding you're it. You're gripping it like it's a snake. What do you mean? Just hold it lightly. I'm holding the phone. I'm dead. We're going to post a poll. And if we're you hold get this. it lightly, yeah, it falls on your fucking nose. <laughs> Just don't. hold the phone if it's going to drop out of your hand. Here you go. <laughs> but your pinky is so easy. Try using your pinky right now. Try what? Try using your pinky to hold it up. Just. I don't see how. The, why, why are you, doing why are you your spreading? Pinky? Dude, why are you you're fucking Just spread your eagle. Just look. Ah! <laughs> Just hold your phone. Give me my phone. No, no. Just hold let it. Let me show you. No, you don't have you. to stick your... This, yeah, your pinky's gonna... Your pinky <laughs> is gonna hurt in 30 years. Your pinky's gonna be sticking out of your wrist. Like some weird... Like you're gonna be a fucking koala or a bat. I am almost positive I'm not the only one who this uses... This fucking stupid. I've literally been like on Instagram in 2015 scrolling and someone's like, I know how you're holding your phone. And then they explain to me, oh, your your thumb is you're scrolling with your thumb, you're holding it with your your pinky finger, and your three fingers are balancing. Like, do you not have a palm? Can you not just hold your phone? No, give me my phone. I'll Why show don't you. you? So you have to do this? Why are you no, doing this? I'm not doing that. Catch your phone. <laughs> that was impressive. I did not think I was going to catch it. That was look, impressive. Look, look. This here. Look at the way that my fingers are splayed. Okay. I don't it's know why you do that. It's to me. Why would I want to do this and hold it with my palm when it's not as natural to me? So that your hand doesn't look like a, <laughs> a fucking koala's hand in 30 years. Okay, fine. So that you don't Maybe. look like a goddamn vampire Frankenstein's monster. Maybe I can't think of... Like, a, like you're going to have goblin hands. <laughs> goblin. <laughs> I'm fucking ghoul. 
Okay, here's another one. Here's another one. Okay. Oh, I don't even get to pick now. Uh-uh. No, because I was really excited about talking about this one because I know you're going to fucking hate it. Fuck. I just think about, like, when I eat, okay? Yeah. I don't like being full. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't like... Stop. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't like the feeling in my body when I can't eat anymore or when I shouldn't eat Most anymore. of us don't. That's called overeating. No, 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 no. There's a difference between being satisfied and being over full. I don't even really like to be satisfied. And here's why. <laughs> Do you have an eating disorder? <laughs> Maybe. Here's the, ta- let's just talk about the cheeseburger I just ate. Yeah. Cheeseburger was like a half pound. It was big. Dad makes them pretty big. Maybe a little less than half pound, but it's close. Right? Yeah. I don't, I think the reason I don't like eating them is because it's, it's so monotonous to eat. This is, and this is, what the fuck was that? This <laughs> is dad watching a video on Facebook. It sounded like a little child Yay! rising from the pits of hell. Continue. So Just fucking ignore it. Be professional. I can't. I can't. I think I have ADHD. I need. I need to go see someone. Don't worry. Me too. So, I I, I have trouble sitting and eating the whole burger because it's just so boring. <sighs> eating all the same thing at once. That's why you eat shit with it. Well, here's the Get thing. Get a though. glass of water and a bag of chips and eat your I shit. I did. I had, actually I had Verner's, but I had Verner's, water, chips, and this burger. I finished the burger, whatever. Okay. But I think about how, like, I'd much rather eat, like, I talked to somebody the other day, actually, about sliders. And they're like, if I'm going to eat sliders, I'm just going to eat a whole burger. And I was like, why? Because then you can eat a slider, get a taste of your, you know, of your burger. But then you can also have a bag of chips you can also have, I don't know, fruit salad. But then you're also leaving room for, like, what if somebody walks in with food? Like, on my birthday last week, I got a chocolate croissant from the Nordstrom E-Bar, sat down, ate it. Less than five minutes later, my coworker came in with two dozen donuts. Or, like, a dozen donuts. Two boxes of donuts. And I was like, shit! Oh, I wish that I knew that was coming, because I would have eaten two donuts, but instead I ate one. Because all the donuts were different kinds. They were like Oreo and like Fruity Pebble. and I'm just saying, I think I like to be optimistic and think that once in a while, more food will pop up. <laughs> yeah, I see that. I don't understand your point. <laughs> My point is... So eat half of a fucking cheeseburger. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, maybe. What is the point that is being made? I think I just make myself too much food all the time. You are crazy. <laughs> you eat garbage all day. You are just overfeeding yourself garbage, <laughs> and your stomach is rejecting it before it gets full because it's afraid. It's like it's like <laughs> it's recoiling. It's like, oh my god, he's eating fifty more donuts again. Oh shit! <laughs> like when I watch a movie. Oh my god, Logan's eating more <laughs> gummy skittles and and shit. <laughs> Look, it's eating another turd. <laughs> eating a turd instead of a coney dog. What the fuck? Because, like, when I watch a movie, I like to have an array of snacks. I don't like... I, I don't know think- why I thought you were going to say I like to have an erection. <laughs> <laughs> I love to have an erection while I watch movies. It's the best way to experience them. No. It depends on the movie. <laughs> I like to have an array of snacks. Because, like, I think that's why I don't get popcorn when I go to the movies. Because it's so much popcorn and it's just, like, one thing you that I have so- to finish. <laughs> You're a cryptid. I would. You are so strange. If it was, if it was financially stable, I would get things in micro doses. I would get like popcorn to fill a shot glass. Only to fill a shot glass, or like Mike and Ike's. Actually, Mike and Ike's, I can fuck. You're this fucking idiot. You're gonna. You're sitting in a theater. You have like a tray of like fifty different. You walked into one, my bedroom the other day. One, one bite of fifty different snacks. Oh, I was about to watch a movie, and I had what did I have? A box of donuts. You had a box of donuts and a Hershey bar <laughs> Hershey sitting bar. on top of a cardboard box, <laughs> and that just was the face of dysfunction. You look like you live by yourself. <laughs> that was after I had eaten. Single men really live like this. <laughs> <laughs> the Lay's barbecue chips, the high chew, and the water. Like, I'm so surprised that your bedroom doesn't have a fucking coffee table in it. Well, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. you, you, you just need to get a coffee table and j- just a small kitchen in the corner. Who decided it was going to be <laughs> that fucking kitchenette in my 
20 square foot bedroom. Yeah. You already put, you can take that shelf back out and just put a counter with a coffee maker and a microwave. Who decided to call it a coffee table? Quick sidebar. Somebody that wanted to put coffee on it. But I guess I don't know why coffee was, why wasn't it like a tea table? Didn't we come from England? It was probably made up by Americans who drink coffee or some other people no that way. drink coffee. Or maybe, wait, maybe we just renamed it. I doubt that, okay, English people probably don't call it a coffee table. They probably call it a fucking table because they're less stupid than <laughs> we are. I watched a great TikTok the other day that somebody showed me of how <laughs> this British guy was on a talk show making fun of the way that um, Americans name shit. He was like, oh, yes, you know that thing that you throw things out thing? The thing you throw things out in? The bin? Yeah, Americans call it the waste paper basket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know when you go ho horse riding? Americans call it horseback riding. <laughs> <laughs> they need to know where on the horse to ride. It's the funniest shit ever, and it's completely true. Stupid. Okay, here's another. Okay, let me let me run this by the listeners Coffee table. and by you, <laughs> because I was talking with my coworker before I went on vacation a couple weeks ago, and honestly, I was frustrated, but also it was a very stimulating conversation because there we we work next to a zoo, and typically one of us on Saturdays or whatever will go there for lunch. Yeah, uh, my coworker went in and she was like, yeah, like I got Zoop, whatever. And she was talking to me and Elena, who I've mentioned here before. And Elena was like, oh, is it the, is it the person with, with the different colored eyes? Here's where it gets good. Huh? Our coworker, because it was just like, we know the people at Zoop, this is the one with the diff with two different colored with eyes. With heterochromia. Fine. That's not the point. Yeah. The point is. <laughs> it just sounds cool. I was talking to my coworker and she was like, yeah, he's got one different color eye. And I said, wait a minute. I don't understand what you mean by that. He has two different color eyes. And she was like, well, no, he has one different color eye. And I was like, then what? Then the other one. I was like, so which one are you talking about? Now, the, we had a... Oh, my God. We had a 45-minute conversation about this. Oops. While she was on her lunch break, I literally let her sit in the back after she clocked back in because I bothered her for so long about this. The problem <laughs> that I ran into, and the reason I cannot agree with her, is because she's lacking... She has what I call, and it might even be the correct term, an ambiguous subject of her sentence. Because if you have one different color eye, the definition of different is just like other than, right? So if you have one different color eye, it, then the, the, the eye is a different color than, than what? Well, then the other one. Okay, well, then there, it's not specific which one you're talking about. This is why Europeans think Americans are stupid. Because if you have a brown and a blue eye... You say, oh, he has one different color eye. Well, which one is the normal? Is it blue or brown? And she was like, well, it's, it's brown because there is actually no such thing as blue. Blue is the black of brown. And that was a whole different thing. I was like, okay, shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear it. What is she, a fucking biologist? Well, she's actually right. That is what that means. But that's not the point. The point was grammatically she didn't make any sense. I said, <laughs> you don't have a subject. I say they have two different color eyes because they have two eyes and they're both different colors. And the subject is the eyes. Do you agree or do you disagree with me? I don't agree with you arguing about it. <laughs> okay, that's not the point. I agree with if somebody, if either of you said what you said, I would be like, yeah, that person. Like I would have said the person with heterochromia, and you would have said, what the fuck is that? Okay, I knew, I know what it's called. I just, I would have said two different colored eyes. Thank you. I don't think that somebody. First of all, uh, I probably would have said different colored eyes. Fine, but you're saying eyes. You maybe not wouldn't have said two, but you would have talked about both eyes like, and how they're different. It's right? strange that she chose to say different colored eye. She specifically said he has one different color eye, and she I was said like, he has one different color. And I said eye. then what? She said then the other, and I was like, so he has two different color eyes, which is why I was. Here's the thing, the number two. You're just being a prick. I mean, because that's yes. perfectly comprehensible what she said. Like. Yes, but I just was like, well, because it started that's like, with me that's saying like people like, in, in on, on comment sections that fucking correct people who don't use apostrophes. Do you want to know shit. who does that? You. Me. I don't do the apostrophe thing, but I definitely correct people when you they use, use like, the, the wrong, wrong your. <laughs> exactly. Like when you're texting somebody, somebody's like, I can't just like that shit. crying to you about, about their ex cheating on them or some shit. And you're just like. Use the wrong theory. <laughs> okay, I've done that like one time. It was, it <laughs> I, was definitely I'm regrettable. I'm not surprised that you did it that time, <laughs> whenever that was. So what it, what it started with is she said, yeah, he's got one different color eye. And I just like in passing, I was like, that's a weird way to say that. Because that's how I am. I'm going to tell you what I think. And that's just how it goes. 
And she was like, well, no, it's not. And she walked in the back and I just couldn't let her get the last word. So I said, hey, guys, I'll be off the floor for a couple minutes. And I walked in the back and I went back and forth four different times because I wanted their opinion. I wanted her opinion because I definitely understand that, like, people say things a little bit differently. She's just wrong. So (laughs) that's just how it goes. With one different colored eye. Then what? You- Obviously, since most people have two eyes, you would think that she's talking about as opposed to the other eye. But here's what I would think. If somebody said, yeah, I have one different color eye, I would think you're talking about, you have like I have brown eyes, but one of my eyes has like a, like a swore, like hazel in it or something or like blue. Because I've seen those. People that's have the like- same thing. No, 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 no. If they have one eye that's like brown and green and the other eye is brown... Like, you can just tell, like, they have brown eyes, but there's a little bit of green in that in one of them, like a spot of green or something. Yeah. That's when I would say that they have one different color eye, because their one eye is different colors. But you're describing the same exact thing. Well... It's an eye that is different from the other eye. Okay, fine. You... No, you're definitely that, wrong. But I'm saying... No, no, I think you're just misunderstanding. I'm not misunderstanding. What I'm describing. I'm <laughs> trying to be a contrarian to your bullshit. I'm saying, imagine, you okay, look into my bullshit. eyes. Look into my eyes. Yeah. Let's just say that there's like a big green dot on this one over here. Sure. I have a different color eye because one of my eyes is different, has a different color in it than the than the rest of my eyes. Than the rest of my eyes. Yeah, like if you had then the rest of my one eye. amber Fine. colored eye and one blue colored eye, you'd be like, yeah, I have one different colored eye. Then what? I'm saying this one is different than this one color. I think in that, in what I'm saying, the subject is the colors. One of the colors is different okay. than the other colors. But in the way that we're describing me and my coworker, the eyes are the subject and she has an ambiguous subject. Do you understand? I'm going to drop this because <laughs> I'm going to have... I better hear from all y'all like motherfuckers panic attack what you're th- doing mental <laughs> gymnastics trying to figure out how to argue this with you. It's like talking about fucking lizard people and shit with you. Every everything you it doesn't matter what you want to argue about. You will just talk shit until the other person's tired. <laughs> you should be a politician. <laughs> Sheesh. Wow, that's a good one. What are we at? Twenty seven minutes. Oh my god. Good. All right, let me get one more in. Let me get one more. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um here's one that's kind of been on here for a long time that I haven't really known. Oh no, fuck that. And we're talking about this one. My least favorite thing about kitchens is how there's just always something on the floor and or on the counter. No matter who cleaned up. You should clean more. No matter who, no matter who cleaned up, they always miss something. I fucking, every day of my goddamn life, I walk into our kitchen and I step in water. Or I put like a paper towel down or I put my plate down and it gets wet from water on the counter. The, the difference between that and like a bathroom is bathrooms you expect there to be water on the floor because there's a shower in there. Right? Yeah, there's a sink in a fucking kitchen. Yeah, you want to know what a sink is on? It's on the fucking counter. Okay. When I'm walking... A shower is in a bathtub or in a shower. Yeah, you to, you're physically getting your body I out understand. of the shower. I should stop being a dick. Continue. No, but please continue. I cannot wait for you to move out and have to blame yourself every day of your stupid life for there being some sort of crumb on the floor that gets stuck in your sock no, 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 no. that you get pissed no, off no, no, about. No, no, no. It's not It's not like one crumb. Oh, my sock is wet. It's my sock being wet, which is the worst feeling on the planet. I don't care about childbirth. <laughs> Stepping in water with socks on. <laughs> oh, God, it's terrible. But, like, the other day when I was like, <laughs> Mom. Stretched. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I was talking to Dad. I said, Dad, there's water on the floor. And he's like, yeah, it was probably an ice cube. And I was like, Okay, why didn't it get picked up? He's like, well, I can tell you water. 100% percent was not an ice cube. It was probably me pouring water out of the Brita because that thing leaks water every time I do it and I refuse to clean it why up. Why the fuck don't you put your cup on the counter? I don't know, because then the water gets on the counter <laughs> and I have to clean that up. You got me fucked up talking about <laughs> I should <laughs> talk about some I should fucking clean up more and you saying, oh yeah, water gets You're everywhere. the one that's bitching about it. Tyler pulls I'm the, the one Brita. that cleans the kitchen floor. A bitch pulls the Brita out of the, <laughs> the fucking fridge, runs around the house 12 times, No, dumps it I on be- the floor, and then Listen, puts it back. This is just on my mind because it's been infuriating for me the past few days. 
every time I take the Brita out and I try to fill up the my like a cup of water, it fucking streams down the side of it like a fucking cascade of water. Here's like what more I more water doing. goes into the floor than it does into my cup. Here's what like, I think you're doing. Why is this doing this? Everyone, when, when we talk about our Brita, it's, look, there's like it's like there's a hole in the bottom of the Brita. It's we're talking like a pitcher that obviously filters stuff. Yeah, sorry, a Brita filter pitcher. It's a pitcher. Makes your water better. Here's what I think you're doing. Okay, let me walk you through it. I think what you're doing is when it's pretty much all the way full. Yeah. You pick it up with one hand and your chicken wing arms. Yeah. And you turn it real slowly. I don't turn it slow. I don't believe you. I pour it quickly so that it doesn't do that. And then it does it anyway. Then you're probably doing it too quickly. There's a nice happy medium. Let me get you a crash course after this episode on how to use a goddamn bread. I'll go fill it up. All that shit. It's going to be great. You have no idea. And then you'll never make me step in water ever a fucking again. Now to step on the blood of my enemies that come into my kitchen for some reason. Okay. You throw, you like slaying enemies in your kitchen? If they're coming there. If they're coming there, what are you slaying them with? I don't know, the Brita? The cutout? heavy enough. The cutout. Beat home intruders to death with your cardboard cutout yes. of Danny DeVito. Yes. Of Jake I don't Gyllenhaal. have it yet, guys. I don't have it. You I should get it. You I, need to get one. I'm thinking about it. I just don't know who I want. Do I want Jake Gyllenhaal? Do I want Danny DeVito? Do I want like Margot Robbie? Do I want just like some rando that I don't even know who it is? Hmm. That would be really funny. Yeah, just like, who's it? I don't know. Just get one from the suggested page. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'd also love to get one that's just like incredibly cringy, like a Ariana Grande or like Sean Mendez. Like Nick Jonas. That's comedy. Nick Jonas. You know what we should do is we should just save up like every month, put like 10 bucks in a jar. Yeah. And then like for episode 100, which is forever from now, but take all those yeah, I was dollars. Say, what, what would that be? Buy an That's army of cardboard now. cutouts. You are insane. I think they are ninety dollars each. Yeah, so I'm saying ten bucks a month. Twelve months is hundred and twenty dollars. So for episode hundred, we're gonna we're gonna get like ten cardboard cutouts. <laughs> yeah, an army. It's a small but mighty army. I would consider the Avengers an army, and there were like six of them. They're an army because they absolutely fuck <laughs> they're well, indestructible i mean and black widow and hawkeye i mean we could literally just buy the avengers you already have one of them that would be funny just buy them just buy them dressed as civilians <laughs> instead of just cut out well, yeah of the we superheroes. can't have them in their superhero out- out- outfits because like they have secret identities that we got to keep we know who they are but like the people don't these are the avengers they're not wearing their costumes to keep their secret identities secret then why huh? do they wear their? Also, in most of the, most of the characters in the movies don't have secret identities. That's kind of dumb. Yeah, why do they do that? What do you mean? Because keeping your identity a secret is a waste of time and effort. That's not true. Peter Parker's losing his shit, man. Yeah, because he kept his identity, or because he didn't keep it secret. Huh? Because he didn't keep his identity. No, before secret. that, he was fucking losing his backpack and all this shit. Lose? Oh Here's no, he Here's lost his backpack. Here's the thing. Running around, like, okay, Mark Grayson in Invincible is a great example of why this is such a waste of time. He hid his secret identity from his fucking girlfriend, and she's just like, go fuck yourself. I'm more important than your secret identity. He's like, what? Why? I mean, is he that fu- true, though? He has to, like... She was kind of just, like, rude as fuck. She was rude as fuck. I'm trying to say... It's I mean, also It's also just a detriment to the story... It's just like you're wasting so much extra time with just like pretending that you're somebody else. Why not just be the guy all the time? Mm. Yeah, just huh? have a life as the guy. Does that make sense? Because people, because monsters and whoever are going to track you down anyway. I think it depends on who you are. I think Iron Man can, can handle it. You know, I yeah. think he's fine. I think Peter Parker, I don't think he could handle it. I think we're about to find out in December or whenever it gets delayed until that he's actually kind of going through it. Well, if you make a good story out of it, fine. It's just like some some things it's like it just takes up so much of the story with them hiding their identity from people. And it's always the same shit. It's like, why didn't you tell me? Oh, oh, you never told me. Oh, oh, I have to hide my shit. Like, bitch, that is not something your problem. Why didn't you tell me? Um, cause just because of this reason right now, cause you're being an asshole. Speaking of Spider-Man, a really good, uh, 
example of when the secret identity is funny is that fucking scene in Amazing Spider-Man 2, I think, where he puts his suit in the in the washing machine and turns all of his clothes pink. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And Aunt yeah, yeah. May's like, "Why why are all the clothes turned Oh, that's not how how Sally Field sounds, but whatever. Why are all the clothes blue and red? Oh, I was washing the flag. You don't wash a flag? No, I was washing the flag. It was fucking funny. I actually don't remember that. You don't remember that? that? Those movies are funny as shit. The fact that you knew that her name was Sally Field. Yeah, she was in Forrest Gump. Yeah, I've never seen it. What? You should watch that. I know, it's kind of dumb. It's a good movie. You the movie guy? Watch Forrest Gump. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, put that on your list. Um, What time are we at? 35? Tyler, tell me about Denver. Guys, I've heard almost nothing from Tyler about Denver. Because I was saving it for this. I figured. Despite my best efforts, I made it to Denver. (laughs) Let me tell you what this means. Logan drove me and Marty to the airport. The first security guard at the airport. I was so tired that day from getting up at 6.30 to mow the grass before I went to work and then went straight to the airport. I was so tired that I go up to the security guard. She said three fucking times, I need to see your ID. And I did not hear anything she said. Oh, and then Jesus. this dumb bitch that like assumed I was done, like waved me forward. And I saw her wave me forward. And I tried to walk past the, the security lady. <gasps> and she was like, hey man, what are you doing? What are you doing, guy? I'm like, what? What? <laughs> what, what are you, you doing, what's happening? guy? And Marty's just like, no, no, no he, 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 this is first time flying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's like, well, you're a, you're a terrible friend if you don't <laughs> let him have his ID ready. I'm like, I was so in shock for like a day until Marty starts shitting on me to our friend that we were staying with. He's like, yeah, this fucking guy. I w- like I got to Denver and I said the same thing to her. I was like, despite my best efforts, I am here in Denver. <laughs> it's fucking the stupidest shit ever. So, yes, we flew Spirit. Remember how I was like, yeah, spirit, hopefully we don't die. And you were like, I've never had a problem with spirit. I've never had a problem with spirit. I still mean it. Our flight was late by an hour. That's nice, dear. Yeah. Wait till you hear the ending. So, yeah, it was my first time flying on a plane. Uh, Gotta say, not, not, not getting good reviews from me. They were fucking late. We were supposed to leave at 945. How was the actual, like, flight, though? Listen, it was 950. The plane wasn't even there yet. (laughs) I'm just like... What the fuck is this? You guys, you guys aren't setting a good despite example. Despite their me. best efforts, you got exactly. To despite despite God's best efforts, <laughs> I got to Denver. I I was chewing gum, you know, expecting to feel the pop, and I chewed gum for like a half an hour. And we fl- we were flying, and I'm like, oh, I guess, I guess it's over because we're in the air. <laughs> it's like I didn't feel the pop. I was um deathly uncomfortable the entire time really because my stomach was exploding inside of me i couldn't tell if i was constipated hungry or just really needed to uh just take a shit i was i felt like i was dying the entire time did you go to the bathroom you know those bathrooms on planes right? okay here's the other thing <laughs> i took a window seat when i signed up for the flight i took the aisle seat but when i checked in they gave me an option to change my seat. I was like, don't you got to pay for that? No. Really? They gave me the option to change from window seat because I had already purchased a seat. They were like, which seat do you want? I'm like, you know what? I want the window seat. I want to look down at the, the beautiful city at night and as I'm flying through the sky. To clarify, I already told Tyler that I prefer the aisle seat, but were you at the emergency exit thing? We were at the emergency exit thing. So you could stretch your legs? Yeah. Okay. That's the best seat. I sit down in the window seat after thinking I had chosen it when I checked in and this, and Marty is in the middle seat, which is his rightfully deserved seat. And some guy walks up and he's like, Hey, when you guys get the aisle seat, I'm like, no, I got the window seat. And Marty's like, he looks at me. He's like, you sure? I'm like, no, I got, I I chose the window seat. The guy's like, I'm like, do you want the window seat? The guy's like, no, I don't, I don't care if you don't care. I'm like, cool. I look at my, I I look back at my fucking boarding pass. Shut up. No, no I was supposed to have the aisle seat. <laughs> so I fucking stole this dude's window seat. How? I f- the entire time I was assuming that this guy probably like s- silently hated me for stealing oh. the window seat. He's like he's thinking like I know I got the fucking window seat. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker's lying. <laughs> and for that reason, I refused to try to get up. 
because Marty is sitting next to me trying to sleep and then this guy next to him who I've stolen his seat from is also trying to sleep. This guy probably took this the fucking window seat so that nobody would climb over him. And I'm like, I can't climb over this guy. I owe him this. I took the window <laughs> seat from him. So I I squirmed the entire three hour ride there with my stomach eating me from the inside. And then I got off with the plane hateful neighbor. and took a shit at the airport <laughs> in Denver. So <laughs> that was my first flight. <laughs> really good view though. <laughs> a great view from the window. That's great. There from were two the different times window. also where the staff asked me like if wait, I was wait, wait. so what? you're a liar and a thief. <laughs> <laughs> I did not lie. I did not lie. I thought that I had the window seat. They fucking showed me the seats again when I was checking in and the, and it was like, "All right, choose a seat." And yeah, I was like, like, "How did you okay, fuck window that up? seat?" Were you looking in a mirror? <laughs> that happened. I was trying to fucking escape Medusa. I was looking behind me at my phone. I don't know, man. Oh man. So that was fun. We got to the airport. Uh it took us like 20 minutes to escape the airport. I've never heard a worse first flight story in my entire life. I was just <laughs> I can just imagine it you was like all my fault. Like <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. I was also going to say, two different times, the staff asked me if, like, they have to ask you if you're physically able to open the emergency like, door. probably not. And both times, the first time, it was some Nigerian guy, and I couldn't understand what he was saying. <laughs> he said it three times, and I was like, I, yeah, yeah. And then it. the next time was a fucking guy wearing a... I mean, they're all wearing masks. It was a, another guy who had a mask on. I could barely understand him, but I knew what he said, and I just shook my head. He was like... No, sir, I need, I need like an audible confirmation. I was, and I shook my head again. <laughs> and Marty's like, Marty just about fucking slapped me upside the head. I'm like, yes, yes, I'm physically able. Are I you though? I tried so hard to not get to Denver, apparently. <laughs> I'm like really wondering how much work it is to open that. Cause there's like a 40% chance you couldn't no, do it. No, no, you have to, you have to lift like 30 pounds. Uh, like you have to be able to lift 30 pounds. You, you look at it and it's like. You got to be able to like rip a thing off and then just push two things in and rip the door. Off. I just don't know if there was like something. It's m- like they make it to be removable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not like some like, it's like some shitty entrance to a mine shaft, <laughs> or or like I don't know. You need to be a big strong Arnold Schwarzenegger to be able to open the fucking thing. Yeah, I bet Granny can sit in it. It should be fine. So you'll be like good. probably yeah. I just guess I, I imagine like in the air it's harder to open, but I don't know why I think that. I don't have any scientific evidence to back there's that more, up. There's more air pressure. I guess that's what I'm. Isn't there less air pressure? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry. There's less pressure, mm. so it would make I don't much know. easier to I, open. I have a travel log. Oh, good. Yeah. Because other interesting things happen. That was a rocky start. Yeah, it's rocky. <laughs> Colorado. Oh, the <laughs> sorry. When Wait, the fucking, where are the Rocky Mountains? It's it's near there. It's, I think it's sure? in Colorado. Wait, I don't know. You're the one that brought it up, asshole. The Appalachian Mountains are in the northeast, right? Yes. And the Smoky Mountains are in. And the Himalayas are in Nepal. Great work. Where are the Smoky Mountains? I was confused for a sec because there was a blue dot over southeast Michigan, and I was like, "That's not where the Rocky Mountains are." Whoa. Oh wait, that's where that's I am. I am. Where are the Smoky Mountains? I also they go through see. Colorado, so you're right. Okay. I also didn't put an E in Smoky, and I hope that's okay, because I didn't know how to spell it. Why are you saying... So? <sighs> now I just want to know where the Smoky Mountains are. Are those Who in gives California? A fuck? And yeah, like, that's why they're called the Smoky Mountains, because they're always on fire. Shit. <laughs> oh, no, North Carolina and Eastern Tennessee. That's actually the opposite end of the country. Yeah. I have so many notes. Oh yeah, when they yeah yeah I was gonna say when the flight was late, the Nigerian guy came over the intercom and he was like, "We are very sorry." And for those of you who who once said they are never flying Spirit again, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> the funny everybody started laughing. Oh, and this fucking crazy lady. Mm. Love crazy lady. They said it. The they announced over the intercom to remind everybody. They were like, "If you have one carry on bag, uh, please put your purses and shit into your bag because you can only have one thing with you." And me and Marty watched this lady start shoving shit into her shirt and into her pants <laughs> like she was trying to smuggle shit onto the plane. I was like, "There's no fucking way." 
because we had tested our own carry-on bags because they have they give you a slot to shove it into to make sure that it can fit onto where it's supposed to be. Yes. Like, they're going to check it, but they never did. It's carry-on, you're talking the about, seat. like, the carry-on that you carry on to the plane. Sorry, I'm sorry. Just your free carry-on. Your free bag, not a carry-on. Thank you. Free bag. I'm free sorry. Bag. I need the nomenclature. Your luggage. The good nomenclature. This lady shoving her purse and shit. At first, I thought she was like breastfeeding a baby. Was <laughs> this fucking huge ass bulge in her shirt. I'm like, what is this lady doing? Oh, she's shoving a bunch of crap into her clothes. She's like, they can't make me lift my shirt up. They can't make me take this out. They That's can't not touch true. me. They can do what they want. Oh, uh, they didn't. They did. This lady got onto the plane with a bunch of shit shoved into her pants and into her shirt. She's like, no, this is what I'm wearing. Here's my free bag. I guess true. If it looks like something that you wear. It was so genius. I was like, I was so impressed with this woman because I'm like, she's probably done this a million times. Dead ass, yeah. I guess, yeah, you could you could put like a bomb in your shirt and they wouldn't even know. Well, you have to get it through security. Yeah, well, you would because it's in your shirt. It's just she, what I'm wearing. She sneaks it past them while they're yelling at me. <laughs> Why the fucking head ass next door doesn't have his ID ready. Literally, Marty shows up to, to Denver like, oh yeah, I uh, I had to go alone. Tyler's in freaking airport jail right now because he's deaf as fuck. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, I, I'd piss. I'd piss my pants if I was with you. I'm so glad I did not hear that because I would have peed. Oh. <sighs> Sir, sir, hey, buddy, uh, where, you, where are you going? Where, where are you going, buddy? Hey, All right. hey, man. Wow. Well, thank you for sharing. I'm so glad I heard none of that before this. God, and that's not even... That was... I haven't talked about getting there yet. <laughs> like, we got there. We had to escape the airport. Yeah. You need to take a train out of this airport. Why? Is it's it a 1943? fucking airport. It's what? A, you have to get on a subway. We get on this train. I tell Marty, I'm like, yeah, I've never really been on a subway I've also either. never been on a subway. It's not like a like a long ass subway to go somewhere else. It's just to get to the other side of this giant ass airport. Okay. It's insane. What is it? The fucking Detroit Zoo? I guess so. Now hop on his train, kids. We get off this dumbass. Did I mark that down? I didn't even write that part down. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just we had to figure out where the hell our ride was, and we get there finally. <sighs> We go to sleep. Damn, this is really winding you, I can tell. You're aging so quickly right now, sitting in We're front behind of by two time zones. I'm all fucked up. <laughs> I'm all fucked up. We, we, we get up in the Colorado morning. got me fucked it's up. It's like fun enough. I enjoyed myself. We had like, you know, she showed us around. Basically, we just stayed in Golden, which is like a like a college town. We barely went to Denver. <laughs> We, we like we went we were in golden the whole time we played board games and we went to a bunch of you know stores and shit stores and shit my favorite uh, like i'm just looking at the shit that i wrote down marty made eggs with flour the second morning we were there marty was making eggs and we just watched him put like flour into his eggs wait a minute and we were both just like what are you fucking doing i don't understand what you mean by that when he was scrambling, he was scrambling eggs in the pan and he was putting flour in it. Scrambling them? Yeah. He's putting flour in, in the eggs. What does that do? It probably makes them less juicy, which is kind of dope. Like, it's, it's. I mean, I assume it made it taste like shit because I didn't try any. <laughs> it's just now, it's just how he makes them. It's just how he knows how to make them. He just puts flour in them. No, 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 but what does it do? I don't know. Like, it makes it more spongy? Is it flour? I don't fucking know. What does flour do? Okay, Marty. I probably should have wrote, written, like, asked him about it. That's so weird. <laughs> she I, mean what? <laughs> I just can't believe it. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I knew that I'm that sorry. would vex you. What the fuck? So, I don't even make eggs. The Den. <laughs> Why am I mad? <laughs> also, Denver is like a mile higher, like a mile above sea level, so the air is actually thinner there. So she immediately made sure to tell us that we need to drink more water because we will get tired faster. I was like, interesting. <laughs> no, just fucking faints. Also, can't breathe. there is a hole in the ozone layer above Denver. So you get sunburned easier. Cool. <laughs> wow, that's science. It's also hot as fuck there because it's a, it's a desert. Is it dry? I'm sure it's dry heat. It's then. dry heat. It rained while we were there, so the weather for most of the weekend was pretty awesome, oh. especially for when we went hiking. Hiking! We went bouldering. 
We went to a bouldering gym. Wait a minute. So you know the like in Wait elementary school, the little rock climbing walls. Yes. Is that what that's called? Is bouldering? Yeah. This shit is cool as fuck. Did you go to Boulder? No. I don't know why I thought that was gonna be funny, but I, I also don't regret. We did not it. go to Boulder. We went bouldering. So this is like right up my alley because I love I love scrambling little little climbing shit. I Wait, love climbing things. Do you think that there's bouldering in Boulder? I Wait, hate there's you. a city called Boulder in Colorado, right? Yes, there is. It's very close. Ooh. Oh, it's close and you can go. Imagine if it <laughs> imagine if there's just not a city called Boulder. Everyone's listening is like, what the fuck? What in anyway, the Anyway, yeah, it's right up your alley. Yeah. That was enjoyable. My fingers and arms were killing me at the end of it. I mean, yeah. You, you do this shit for two hours, but I wanted to look into like going because there's a bouldering gym around here. Bro, I'll go with you. I wanted to because we got in for free. Because she and her boyfriend each got me and Marty in with a free pass. Oh, that's dope. And then I I looked up how much a bouldering gym is. And a membership is like like $800 a year. I was like... Holy shit. That's a lot, yo. Yo, yeah. How y'all pay for this shit? Why? Right? Okay. Fuck that then. I'll stay home and continue to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I get sore when I go to kickball for 90 minutes. Not even 90 minutes. We take fucking 10-minute breaks, and people show up late, so I really only play kickball I mean, for 60 you know, minutes. you know, exercising is sore. I mean, yeah. But, but it, was just, it was just all arms and fingers. Like, we got home, and it's like, your fingers don't fucking work. Cool. I couldn't, I couldn't open the door to her car. I was like, eh. Oh, that's cool. Eh. Like, I love that. You're holding on for dear life trying to climb this shit, and it's designed to be hard to climb. They had three levels. Of of like climbing, which one like did you climbing do? routes? There was easy, medium, and hard. Did you do the hard one? She commented on the fact that they should be called hard, harder, <laughs> and super fucking hard. I only managed to do easy ones. <sighs> hard, hard. Even for her and her boyfriend who do this a lot, it was a pain in the ass for them to try and do medium ones. Yeah, I believe it, man. Holy shit! This it's a challenge, and I still really want to get into it. Hmm. It's eight hundred. You need you need 800, a membership. Eight hundred a year. I mean, you can do that, or you can pay fucking forty bucks every time you want to go do it. Well, I'm just saying you could do it just every so often, and it would be cheaper. Well, yeah, because like you're not going to. But use... if I wanted to, like, I if I did, if I like started doing it, I would love to just do it. Well, why don't you just pay the forty bucks the first couple times? Hmm. And then go, you know what? I should have paid the $800 and then do that. Because then the problem is when you pay the $800, you're going to go like three times in a year, if that. <laughs> and then it's going to be coming up on your your auto renew and it's, you're going to be like, shit, I got to fucking cancel that. And then you're going to have to call someone, but then they're going to tell you to go on the website, but then the website's going to tell you to call someone. And then the person that calls you is going to tell you to go into the store and then they're going to tell you to go fuck yourself. So That sounds exactly like my boss trying to order a piece of equipment today. <laughs> he fucking... Emailed like 50 people complaining that it's hard as shit to try and or- order a label maker. <laughs> that were rec- like a, a, a label maker that we needed to replace. We had to have a specific model. Uh, and I assume you need to show paperwork that you have this specific model. <laughs> and he was just bitching. He was like, hey, this is insane. And I have never had to complete such a puzzle in my life. That's basically what he said. Such a puzzle. I laughed my ass off when I read the email. But yeah, uh, bouldering was awesome. That night we went to a ramen place. Ooh. It was good ramen. Yeah. I didn't get to finish it all, but I had like like pork. Oh shit! I feel like I wrote it down. This place was good. Oh, the the day that we went bouldering, we went to a fucking deli called De Deli. If y'all ever in Golden, go to De Deli. Is delicious. Like da Deli. De Deli. D apostrophe Deli. Oh, De Deli. It was good as fuck sandwiches. They like is that their is that their motto? Their slogan? Good, good as, as fuck, fuck sandwiches. sandwiches. Yeah. We yeah. should you know what? Let's make a deli. Let's start a deli. I was so shook by the fact that they needed to keep the door closed because it because they needed to keep everything inside of it cold. Cold, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every other person that would walk into this place, they would just leave the door swinging open. Oh, fuck you guys! There's a sign on the door on both sides saying, "Hey, close the door, please." And <laughs> like we walk in, and this like th- these like th- like thirty Asian people behind me, they're like about to go in, so I leave it open, and I'm just minding my own business. And then this fucking dude at the counter is like, hey, could you close the door, please? And I'm still the last one in line. I turn behind me. These fucking people are still standing outside. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? I close the door. I'm like, God damn it. 
And then <laughs> on my way out, I go, I, I go out the door and I try to close it. And this kid walks up, like he runs up and stops me from closing the door. This kid that was inside of the store, like, s- like slams what? the door. He's like, eh, he's like, eh, what like the trying fuck? to be an asshole. And his dad's like, fucking stop that. <laughs> and I just have, start laughing. <laughs> have you ever seen the hateful eight? No. Okay. Do you know what it's about? It's about cowboys. No, absolutely not. Okay, well, I'm so it's something else. just after ridiculous six. <laughs> no, it's just after um, the Civil War. Basically, it's about cowboys. Nope, it's a bunch of yeah. eight individuals that are having to hunker down in a, like a haberdashery cool. in the West. It is out west, so fine. Cowboys, um, but during a blizzard. So cold boys. What's funny? Shut the fuck up. So what's funny about what you just explained to me is there's like an ongoing joke the first like entire act of the movie because they don't all arrive together, right? So every time somebody's going inside because the door is broken, they have to like nail it shut. So, but the blizzard is so fucking loud that like there will be like two guys sitting in by the fire and somebody comes in and they start screaming, ah, close the door. No, there's a hammer down by. Okay, fine. So then they do it and it happens like six times every time somebody else comes in because then everyone starts to catch on like, ah, close the door. You got to watch that movie. It's the reverse. Because the way in which you just explained that to me blows my mind. It's the funniest shit in the world. Went to a gift shop. We went to a ramen place. We had a very long conversation about how long it would take uh, me or Marty to go gay for another guy if we were trapped on an island with them. What was the consensus? My sir? guy of choice was Chris Evans. I said Good choice. my only confirmation was under a year would I go for Chris Evans. Because basically What is the what is the benefit of going gay for Chris Evans in that situation? <laughs> uh satisfaction? <laughs> okay. Because you're like you're trapped on a deserted island with Chris Evans. You can survive as long as you need to. But you you only have Chris Evans with you. I don't know if I would go gay at Here's all. The thing, ever eventually, for eventually, no, you're jerking off with a coconut or whatever. <laughs> you start to forget your girlfriend, Not like a banana peel, or, you really just or what coconut. women look like, and the only thing that you can remember is Chris Evans because he's the only human connection that you have. And eventually, you just start thinking about Chris Evans when you're when you're when you're whacking off with a coconut, <laughs> and then eventually again with a coconut. If in this situation. Chris Evans is also into you. Eventually, you just kind of like that's my question. Give up, and you're like, I guess we'll just bang Chris Evans. <laughs> is this assuming that Chris Evans is also yes, gay? yes, he is gay for you. He's been gay the whole time. He's been. We're gay the not whole time. waiting for a time like, frame like, for him. He's as well. Logan. If we're being normal, Chris Evans, I don't think he's gonna want to bang me. He's wanna. He's thinking about going home to Jenny Slate. Well, no, whoever the fuck he's doing. I'm also thinking like. If he's probably having the same conversation with RDJ. He's like, <laughs> well, how long would it take me to go gay for some skinny white kid from Southeast Michigan? Are you sure? And Chris Evans probably says, I don't know, like under a year. And then you're good to go when you're on this deserted island with Chris Evans and nothing but coconuts. Can't wait. That's interesting. <laughs> what was Marty's answer? Marty's answer? I don't remember what he said. Marty probably he said was never. Very, huh? Probably, he probably said never, just like I would. He I'm was not. very shaky about it. Yeah, I believe it. But then we just started talking about men that are hot. Okay. And we basically came to either Chris Evans or Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa is just cool, I think. But he's also hot. Have you seen him? I mean, fine. I just think he's cool. Like, he's like raw man. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> I definitely think you might be gay, and that's fine. Listen, <laughs> women, hot. I think I might be bi. Okay, fine. I'll just be questioning it forever because I will never be trapped on an island with Chris Evans where there are no women. But yeah. the possibility will always be there. Yeah, like, I guess, I guess it wouldn't always be there, though, because that just doesn't make any sense. Huh? You just, you, I just don't quite get it because you said the possibility will always be there. Yeah. But it, it won't. What is it? What, what do you mean? I I don't think there is even <laughs> a 0.0001% chance that you will even be near Chris Evans, <laughs> let alone. What about the possibility of me being bi? Not the possibility oh! of me being trapped on an island. <laughs> Chris I was Evans. Like, what? 
It's like a possibility is always there. That's absolutely not true. Fine. <laughs> fine. Okay. I loved you in Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to I want to be the in ice? Captain America. <laughs> Is that how you break the ice on this deserted island? You're just both sitting there. You don't know Dude, each other. If you're I'm just like, I love like, you. Realistically, <laughs> if I'm traveling with Chris Evans, I'm going to fan out eventually. I'm either going to like... Ex I think he'd be so fucking sick of it immediately. I'm going to either like, explode hey man. trying not to talk about it or I'm going to be like, hey, you're pretty good. You're pretty good in the Marvel movies. And then he says, cool, let's get off like, this fucking island. Cool. I mean, I don't think we can escape. In this Why not? In the in the the hypothetical, I'm pretty sure we can't escape because the hypothetical was like you have as long as you need. It's 2021. How does, does anyone even like get trapped on islands anymore? I guarantee you, people get trapped on islands. Ooh. I'll do a news goofin next time. I'll find one for you. Oh my god, yes! Oh, this, is, awesome. this is the first confirmed uh, foreshadowing or trailer for news goofin. Uh, man gets trapped on island. Okay. I'm looking forward to. I it. think I think I'm just gonna start asking when we get guests. I'll just start asking every guest if they're if they're heterosexual. I'm gonna ask them <laughs> how how long would it take you to go gay if you're trapped you're on an island? You're assuming that all of our guests are males. Here's the thing. No. Oh. If we have female, like if we, if we bring Emma on, I'm gonna ask her how long would it take you to go gay <laughs> for say Scarlett Johansson. I guess, yeah, she can pick. Emma, you can pick, girl. Oh, absolutely. No, we'll do this. You let us like, know. Yeah, that's just going to be Marty thing. really wanted to be on this episode, and I probably should have gotten him on here just to talk about that, but he really wanted to be on here just so he could drive home how absolutely brain dead I was going through the airport in Detroit. I don't I don't know if it was just going through the airport. I think just in general. No, specifically at Detroit. Okay. He was so embarrassed of the fact that I almost got shot by What is your fucking dad? He was acting Kinda, like my dad. Yeah, he was yeah, like, I, oh, I, he took me on my no, first he's, flight, too. He, he, it's, his, it's his first flight, please. Please don't Aww. hang him by his toes. Please don't trap him in airport jail. jail please, he's okay. Please don't. God damn. I can man. imagine him asking the the lady that you didn't give your ID to. Hi, can you just do me a favor and not put my buddy in airport jail? Please? I mean, I heard everything that he said to her. Is that exactly what he said? No. no we're he, gonna pretend he was it was. Like, he's like, yeah. Here, you go. I'm sorry. Wow. All right, we're about so to they, be out of time. Nah, bro. I'm gonna keep talking about the trip. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. It's going be a long ass episode. Ninety minutes. This is a episode. good episode, though. I feel like I feel good about this episode. Yeah, all right, all right. Not like not like some of those other episodes. All the all the other ones. Oh, no. We just went, kidding. I'm just kidding. I love it. So, th uh, the day after I ruined my arms, we went hiking for three hours. So you ruined your legs. And I ruined too. my legs. Okay. I cannot describe how awesome it is walking through mountains, and these are just. These aren't huge ass mountains. These are walkable, hikeable mountains. I will never we get over what you just said to me. What? <laughs> Which thing? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot describe how cool it is walking through mountains. It's awesome. No, I know. I've done it. It's just so funny to me that you, you go on like, one trip. That's in your twenty-three year life. You go on one trip, and you're like, dude, you would not believe. I'm t listen. These cool. They're called. Dude, they're huge. I love nature. They're so called much. mountains. Shut up. <laughs> I love nature so much, and I need to. We're going. You don't do anything. What do you mean? Go, go to. What Belle the fuck Isle. am I supposed to do? Or go no. Take listen, trips more often. Listen, I will. Spend your I riches. should because this was lovely. You gotta quit saying I have riches. You Stop do. Saying You're that. fucking loaded. Guys, Stop he's loaded. That. His bank account number is two one. <laughs> Four three. I'm reading it off of his checkbook. Stop talking. Two one four three. Stop. Six. Will you let me talk about what I want to talk about? Oh shit! I got zero of the numbers correct. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Mountains are so cool because I took so many pictures. <laughs> I took so many pictures, Logan, and you cannot tell in the picture at all how big this shit is. It's like that looks like well, shit. Well, because your phone is is about six inches long. Phone sucks. And the mountain, good. Mountain is at least seven inches. Dude, it was just fucking awesome. We got to the top. I mean, we got to the in peak of a mountain that overlooked Golden, and we just looked at Golden. And if not for the uh, Colorado wildfires, we would have been we would have been able to see um, Denver, oh, like sure. on the skyline. I don't know if, yeah, that's it looked awesome. like we could barely see it through the smoke, like a thin layer of smoke in the air. So, uh, my trip ended with. Um, I was supposed to get on a plane at about 3 a.m., so we were going to stay up. No, we were going to sleep and then wake up real like real early. 
but I checked my phone at seven o'clock to get a message from Spirit Airlines. Seven p.m. Right. Seven p.m. From a, I got a message from Spirit saying that my flight had been canceled. Thanks, Spirit. Thanks wow. a lot. We love. I totally that. don't need to be at work tomorrow. No, you don't. Which was probably a bad call. But like, yeah, was I'm suddenly in a situation where, in fact, that was the worst call. I do not have a means of getting back to my hometown, which is uh, half the country away. Walk Marty, with your new mountain legs, Super Marty, the Ninja Man, just springs onto his laptop and immediately finds me a Delta flight to get me back. Delta faster s- dude, than the, Spirit would. Dude, you better be vaccinated. What, you a fucking idiot? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. I am vaccinated. Yeah, I'm just like... My 5G levels are off the charts. Oh, shit. He gets me this flight. He buys it with his own money because his, like, credit card is baked into his into his own Delta account. And now... <laughs> he probably used his Sky Miles, and then he's going to charge you for it. No, uh, that check that you just looked at is the money that I owe him <laughs> for that flight. <laughs> I won't say how much it is because I'm sure he's not comfortable with me talking about his financial shit, even though he won't let us even say his fucking name on the podcast. $10,000. Yeah, $10,000 expen- flight. Dude, what'd you get fucking first class? I, I sat on the uh, in the cockpit drinking martinis with the pilot Wait. for $10,000. <laughs> no. Why is, it, why is this fucking pilot? Almost a driver. Why is it? The driver of the plane. <laughs> drinking alcohol. Oh, uh, no, it's fine. Don't worry right. about it. It's a oh, co-pilot. You got it. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> My flight was canceled, along with a lot of other people's, after I had checked the news. Yes. Look it up yourself. I'm not going to give any sort of, like, defense or explanation as to why Spirit canceled their flights. All I saw on... I saw a headline, like, a couple days ago saying, Spirit canceled so many flights that the government is watching them now. Wow. So many people were more fucked than me. Not a lot of people... uh, have friends that can just buy them another random Delta ticket to get them to where they need to, I mean, b- to go in fair, the morning. You did not need your friend to do it. I'm sure you could have figured it out. There was one seat left on this flight. Jesus Christ. It was you a took it? luxury seat next to another goddamn emergency door. <laughs> which was fine. This time when they asked if I could open the emergency door, I was like, yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So... Instead of leaving at 3 a.m. and getting back to Detroit at 10 a.m., which I had intended to, I uh, did not get to go to sleep at all. I we got to the airport at 11. That's radical. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, we like got to the, we, we left at like 10:45. Oh shit. We got to the airport at 11:30. I had 20 minutes to board. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I had 20 minutes to before they started boarding. Oh, fine. We get through security. I did not get arrested by security. I showed them my ID when they asked for it. Nothing happened. Wow. I didn't go through the metal detector and, and, and get arrested for having a water bottle with a drop of water in it or whatever. I get to there. I get there on time and then the fucking Delta flight is like a half an hour late. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck yourself. But they, you know, I get on the flight. I did not have a stomach ache. I left Marty. Marty went somewhere else you in the country. You knew which seat you had. I got in the right seat, I think. <laughs> Nobody asked me if I had the right seat. Hey, man, is that my seat? So I assumed I was in the right seat. I had to get on this plane at, like, midnight. I barely... I took micro naps, like Batman, for Yeah, well, you can't really, like, get asleep on a plane. No. You can't get a sleep. Like, I had downloaded three podcasts to listen to, and I didn't listen to any of them. Oddspeed episodes two, three, and four? That would be funny. (laughs) I did not listen to anything. I just sat... And I watched a guy watch Rick and Morty silently next to me with his <laughs> headphones on. So I just watched Rick and Morty with no sound. I can just imagine you like I can imagine you half like my eyes dead, just like looking to the side, darting over, yeah, watching Rick and Morty with my peripheral vision. Which episode? Because I was, was in it? the aisle, and this other guy was in the like the other side of the aisle. And I was just like, yeah, oh Rick my and god! Morty. So that was that was like an hour of the flight. I just my eyes just fluttered in and out, but I definitely barely got any sleep. I get to you know Michigan. At 5 a.m. Booger. Dad is parked outside of Arrivals waiting for me. And now I have to solve the next airport labyrinth of trying to escape <laughs> this fucking airport. Because I Delta tried to is follow the people. McNamara Terminal, right? Sure. It's the other terminal, the one yeah. that's only for Delta. The other terminal. That's hilarious. Yes. I have to walk all the way to the end of the, uh, the, like, the other end of the fucking airport. 
I tried to follow other people to arrivals, and none of the people that were on my flight went to arrivals. None of them arrived. I couldn't. I couldn't find. I asked a staff member. I was like, "How do I get to arrivals?" And he pointed me to an elevator that brought me to a fucking parking garage. I can just imagine Dad sitting in his car, like, "God damn it!" He was fu- fucking pissed. I was on the phone with him for twenty minutes I'm, <laughs> with my AirPods in. I'm just talking out loud. And I cannot believe like, that there were not huge signs that said arrivals. I'm sure there were, Logan. Absolutely, I didn't see them. there were. I, I got lost. <laughs> I I'm got in a parking lost. garage, looking for him on the other side of the street. I can't even go out of the parking garage. All of the exits are fucking emergency exits. I can't leave this goddamn parking garage to get to the road. Because there's like a gap. The road is a bridge. I'm pretty sure it wasn't even the road that dad was on. Because I tur- like I get out of the no, elevator. I know exactly where you're garage. talking about. And there's no I turn way. around and the elevator doesn't have any buttons that I can find. And I'm like, <laughs> where have I been sent? Am I in the killing chamber? <laughs> the I go killing. to a different floor and they find an elevator door with buttons on it. They put you on a list because you didn't show them your ID. People are going to think I'm a fucking idiot because I'm sure there were buttons on the one that I came out of, but I just didn't see where the buttons were. Like, it's supposed to be How next to the are door. There no I don't buttons. know. This whole trip was so stressful, but but so relaxing at the same time. Dad is bitching at me. He's like, God damn it. Every minute, he's like, God damn it. Because he's pissed off that he has to sit parked outside of the terminal. At five in the he's morning. Like, he's worried about getting yelled at for being parked for so long. Every goddamn minute for 20 minutes. God damn it. Ah, God damn it. I'm like, shut the fuck up, Dad. I finally come up on like four guys that work there. I'm like, hey, where's arrivals? And they say, take a right, go down that escalator. Uh-huh. Thank you. That's more helpful than the other guy. I come out. Killing chamber. I'm like beef schlauter. Dad, where are you? He's like, God damn it! I'm right. I'm. I'm. I found him. <laughs> I was looking for his for a different car, and then I eventually found the right car. Oh, what he drive like I, the compass? Or he something? he drove a jeep. Oh, I was the, looking yeah. for his van. I was like, okay, there's there's. To be the fair, jeep. I think you should have told you that. I should have asked him. I mean, fine. I found him. I finally, foolishly, I agreed to work this day yeah, that was goofy as fuck dude. foolishly so i get home we must we got home by like 6 30 after it took me a half an hour to escape the airport <laughs> the word escape in this context really hits different <laughs> it's so the great funny. escape like they trapped you in there i finally get home your illiterate ass just couldn't I read I, I slept for maybe an hour i could not sleep <laughs> so then i just go to work at four after telling my coworkers i was going to be there at like two even though I meant to get to the, this is, this is the stupidest part is spirit was going to get there later. So I would have gotten even less time to sleep. I, I have learned so many lessons from this. I go to work, my brain's off for three hours. Immediately when I get to work, I get fucked with so many things. I'm immediately getting asked 30 questions. There are customers complaining about things, asking for the manager. There's a fucking guy coming in to apply for a job there. (laughs) And my coworkers are like, all right, talk to this guy. Somebody's on the phone. Hey, they need to talk to you. I'm like, please. I am dead inside. Sounds I am like a, a husk. You cannot make me do all these things immediately when I walk in. Correct. So I need to travel more. Uh-huh. I've talked about all the crazy and hilarious shit, but it was really refreshing to That's just good. not be at work f- at all It'd for like th- three and a half days. It's funny you say that about three and a half days because I get three and a half days off and I'm like, this is nothing. I just had nine days off. It was fucking yeah. dope. I mean, it was three and a half days of not only being not being at work, but not being at home. True. Just living with, you know, staying with our friend that lives by herself and just just hanging out the Daddy, whole time the dopest. with my friends. Mm-hmm. Great. Best weekend in at least a year. Probably best weekend, probably top 10 weekends. Fucking awesome. Next Maybe year, you should make that list, top 10 weekends. The original intention with this trip was to go camping, and we didn't do that. Fuck that. Next year, we're probably going camping. Oh. Because cool. Colorado is beautiful. Okay. <laughs> I really wanted to just go through the entire spiel. We should we should end the podcast. Well, let's do our six. I mean, it's been a hundred, it's been an hour seventeen. What's an um, an hour twenty? You're you right. Know? All right, everyone. We're gonna do pop culture corner, but we're gonna start off because we got some feedback. Pop culture corner is too long, and we're so sorry about it. Yeah, apparently so, I also say the f word too much. Sorry about that. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do sixty second pop culture corner. Uh, I'm gonna time Tyler, and Tyler's gonna time me. And wherever we're at at sixty seconds, we're just gonna tell him to shut the fuck up. And that's pop culture corner for you. Perfect. Okay. Who? who you want to go first? Uh, let me get my let me get my clock up. But do you uh, want to start? Um, I'll time you first. Okay. Cool. Uh, Ready? Three, two, one, go. 
Okay, so I just watched Bo Burnham's Inside two days ago. So many people told me to watch it. It was fucking hilarious and depressing at the same time. Mm -hmm. And everybody needs to watch this. It is such a great commentary on how... I'm, I'm like stressed out because of... I know, funny. that's what makes it's it It's such funny. a great commentary on just modern life in general. He makes fun of like everything... Just please, if at least listen to the soundtrack. If you if you don't like watching stand up specials, because this is like super fucking depressing, just listen to the soundtrack. Watch the special. It's on Netflix. Bo Burnham's Inside. How much time do I have left? Damn, thirty six seconds. Oh my god, you are fucking quick. Do you want to keep going? Yeah, give me more time. God damn you. Go. You don't stop it. Um, Facetime with my mom is a stressful song. Uh, the internet song is hilarious. Uh. Bo Burnham is depressed. Yep, this took him a, a year and a half to film just inside of this goddamn room. And inside. he did it all by himself. It was awesome. And you can tell at the beginning that it's like more labor intensive. Like, all right, shut up. More. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> I think the point is we're not going to be looking at the clock while this is happening. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we don't know what's going on. Okay. Three, two, one, go. All right, guys. I just watched... Uh, Christopher Nolan's film Memento with Guy Pierce for the first time. For the first time, okay, phenomenal awesome. film, tremendous yes. film. Uh, it's about a guy whose wife was murdered, uh, sorry, raped and murdered, and he's trying to hunt down the killer. But the key is he has short-term memory loss, so he can't remember more than just like a couple minutes ago. The way that they tell the story is so it's kind of like backwards, but also like it's just out of order. I'm a huge fan. Cinematography was beautiful. Storytelling was beautiful. Guy Pierce is beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. He is awesome as an actor, but also as like a, just like a, someone to look at. And um, also the song that I think you should listen to. Oh, fuck. I wrote it down and I don't remember what it was. I have to do a song and a movie. Well, you don't it? have to. Oh, uh, Lauren's going to be mad, but Sundress by ASAP Rocky. Fuck you, Lauren, for getting me into that song. It's Damn. gorgeous. You had two seconds left. Fuck yeah. No, Lauren's going to be so mad, though, because she started listening to ASAP Rocky, and I was like, Jesus Christ. But Loki Sundress is a really good song. <laughs> My song is the songs in Bo Burnham's Inside. Oh, perfect. Yes, yeah, so you had both all in one. Ha ha. All right. Uh, an hour 20. It's going to be a little shorter when we edit it, but... Dude, that'll be probably the longest podcast episode. Yeah, we haven't had past one 110, I think. Catch us next time. We're probably going to try and do something cool for the number 10 episode number double digis but we'll talk about that next time yes odd speed and Bye. uh please oh. rate subscribe like comment like message us right. shut the fuck up <laughs> god i hate you <laughs> it never ends no but yeah actually uh, please give us, us your feedback please yeah. share this with your friends if you thought it was hilarious yeah. love you guys we want to talk to like instead of talking to 30 of you we'd love to talk to like 35 of you I know. <laughs> and then like 40 of you you know we'll cap it there though okay bye thanks everyone bye arrivederci how do you spell that